Hi, this is Tamara Oviatt with Sacred Activations. And everybody that joined me here last minute notice um, on this Wednesday at 1 o'clock, we are going to continue doing these on Wednesdays unless I'm in the middle of training. Um, and we'll be doing two activations or two um, guided meditations every week. Plus, at the end of it, it will be opened up for um, healing work. And then if you want to buy the replays, you'll be able to afterwards. Um, otherwise, it'll be opened up for free on Wednesdays. Um, so when I scheduled this webinar, which Creator told me to do, which I work for Creator of all that is, or God, or whoever you want to call this, Source Energy, whatever, um, I was told to schedule this, and I didn't know what I would be doing. I knew I was going to be answering some questions and doing some personal healings. And I knew I'd be doing an activation, but I wasn't given the name until about five minutes before we got on this call. And what I was told to do is the Christ Consciousness Activation. And if you guys have been around, um, the Christ Consciousness Activation was, I think, the fourth activation I received when I was in Spain. And when I was receiving this activation, I could feel Jesus' heart or hand on my heart, and I could see this. And my life really started to shift after that. Um, I was able to start wearing a two-piece bathing suit and, and be able to look in the mirror and tell myself I'm beautiful. And I'd never been able to do that in my life. And trust me, I have some extra um, weight on me at this time. And I can still look at myself and tell myself I'm beautiful in a bathing suit or even naked. And thank God for that because, again, in my lifetime, I was never able to do that. So this is a healing. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through your life now. And we will be going um, through your past lives, through your genetics, and through the collective consciousness of this and bringing in this unconditional love. You know, the Christ consciousness is the fifth dimensional grid system that is around the planet right now. And it's all about unconditional love. And it's all about really us connecting to that spirit energy, that beautiful, loving energy that loves us so much and wants us to really realize we are this and we are part of this. And this is what this is all about, is healing those limitations within us so we can really see the higher picture and connect to this love, this love energy. And that is really what this is all about. This is really what sacred activations is about. I mean, a lot of the sacred activations activate your sacred geometry, and then they go way beyond that, clearing you out of collective consciousness belief systems that you weren't even aware of you had. And it helps shifting you, and it also has helped shifting the whole planet of these energies because we're all connected. We're all one. We're all in this collective consciousness energy together. And when we disconnect from this, we help others also disconnect from this energy. So just know when you are healing yourself, since you are everything, everything is also healing um, themselves, this, this part of them that is also part of you. So when I say all aspects of you, that's really all aspects of you. You're the universe. You are everything. You are sacred geometry. You are the earth. You are the planets. You are the stars. You know, you are the masters. And and that's what we're all about here is really getting you into the spiritual openness that you are this and you can realize who you truly are and really become more in your power. You know, it took me two years um, of doing the sacred activations and and for this huge freaking shift that I had when I was in Bodrum, Turkey. Um, you know, I've always connected to spirit, to creator of all that is, really my whole life. And and with working with um, releasing people of demons and stuff like that, I've always connected to spirit um, to do that and to help me with that. And when I was in Bodrum, Turkey, um, somebody I love very much had this demon on him. And I've seen this demon before. And I sent him away, and he came back, and he was pissed. He was, like, right over me, and he's looking at me, and he's really angry. And I'm all, help, Lord Metatron, Archangel Michael, help. <laughs> I need help. I can't get rid of this guy, right? He's not leaving. And when I said that, I heard, you've got this, Tamara. You've got this. And when I heard those words from the masters, my energy shot up like a 12-story building. I could see myself of this pillar of light like 12 stories high. And this demon that was 
not going away it looked like the size of a fly and I just looked at it and I blew like that and it just shot away and it hasn't been back and so really what I'm all about is empowering everybody and sacred activation has definitely done that for me and I I want to teach all of you whoever's interested um, to do the same thing even if you're not interested in working on anybody else just being able to really work on yourself in a deeper way but anyways we are going to get started here with the Christ consciousness activation and so what I want you to do is just put your thought in your heart you can allow any judgments hatred however you feel about yourself just allow those energies and those emotions to surface because we will be um, clearing that for you if you're very sensitive you might see Jesus in front of you with his hand on your heart or you might see whatever one of your prophets is if, if Jesus isn't one of your prophets and just allow that energy and just connect with that energy and um, I will be silent while I'm doing this and then when I move you into your past life or through your genetics I will I will be speaking again so just bring that energy into your heart and allow whatever emotions or thoughts or feelings to come up to come up you can't do this wrong the only way you can do this wrong is if you're driving and listening at the same time that's a big no-no okay so I'm getting started and I will be silent here Just keep allowing that energy to shift. Keep your thoughts in your heart.
Just allow all those hurts or all that energy to be released from your heart. Okay, now just bring this energy in and through your past lives. You can just allow your thoughts to go wherever they go. If you can't recall past lives or anything, just allow your thoughts to be wherever they are. It's quite okay. This energy clears them on all levels anyway. This is just for your guidance. Now just allow this energy to go up and through your genetics. Again, allow your thoughts to go wherever they go. You could be calling in grandparents or parents or anybody else that you feel that had a, a closed off heart as this will help your whole genetic line. Okay, now we're just going to bring this energy up and through the collective consciousness. You know, I would say about 90% of people have their heart closed. And they're in fear of opening their heart and connecting. And truly what we need to do on this planet is all open our hearts and connect because we are all one. So just allow any thoughts around that to be released. As we're releasing this through all aspects of you, throughout the whole collective consciousness. And clearing you out of the collective consciousness of 
shutting your heart down and hiding, allowing you to open up to this unconditional love. Allowing this energy to be cleared through all aspects of you. Now I would just like you to allow this energy, this unconditional love to come in through every single cell of your body throughout the whole collective consciousness, throughout every single cell of your body, throughout your genetic line, through your past life, into your life, going through every single cell, going into Mother Earth. You can imagine that you can connect to Mother Earth very, very deep down into Mother Earth. You can imagine you can put your feet into Mother Earth. However, just allow this energy to flow through every single cell of your body of this unconditional love from the highest source energy. And just bring this energy back up through every single cell of your body. All the way back up to the top of your head. Okay, good. Now, remember, um, the activations will continue to work on you for days, even weeks, sometimes even months later, shifting your belief system so that you can really be aligned with that activation. Um, if the activations aren't moving fast enough for you, you can always ask them to move faster. If, they're, if um, the energy is too much, you can ask it to slow down. Um, so it's all spirit and, and that, you know, but you can request how fast or how slow this energy shifts happen for you. 
Um, when you ask really fast, sometimes it can be a little emotional. <laughs> so you might ask, want to ask for it to slow down, but if it's not happening fast enough for you, then ask for it to happen faster. Okay, so what we are going to do now is I'm going to open it up. Oh, you're welcome, Janet. Janet Paul says, I feel tingly throughout my body and a little lightheaded. Yeah, you, you'll feel that way or you can feel that way. Um, so I'm going to open up the lines and, and talk to you guys and give you ideas on what to focus on and then we'll do another healing. So if you would like me to um, say something about whatever you're going through. Um, thank you, Ina. That's fantastic. It says, thank you, Tamara. I feel heat in my body. Um, so what you're going to be able to do is focus on whatever you want to focus on on this next session. But I am going to talk, it looks like, it looks like Irene, but the N is at the beginning and it's two E's at the end. I'm going to unmute you right now. If I can. I see your flag up. I don't know how to unmute you though. I'm clicking on this and I don't know what to do. It doesn't show you have a microphone. Um, same thing with you, Margaret, and same thing with you, Marie. I don't know why. You don't look like you have a microphone. So does anybody have any questions or anything for me? And you three ladies, please type it in. Thank you, Tiffany. Good. Awesome. Good night. Tears are coming out. This is different than before. It is different. And the activations, I suggest you use them more than once because when you hear them again, it helps shift you even that much more. Hi, Nuru. Yeah, I can um, I can see you typing. Is there something you want to work on? You can't show up like in the training because this is a webinar. Okay, so type in what it is you want to work on. More money energy, yes. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of money activations, a lot of prosperity activations. Okay, um, Jan, good. You've got a microphone. I'm going to unmute you. Can you hear me, Jan? Jan Jenis? Oh, you're going to mute yourself again? You didn't mean to flag yourself? Okay. So I'm going to mute you again. Okay, anybody? All right. Well, this is the first of series of webinars we're going to start doing on Wednesdays. And we'll be doing two activations or or two guided meditations. It'll be open free. We are going to be using um, a different service so we can get a lot more of you on at that time. And then if you want to buy the recordings afterwards, you'll be able to in an activation form. And it'll be half price than what it is on the website. Okay, so Nuru, since you've been having a lot of troubles with your close family members, I want you to think about that and what you're learning from it and and why you have to have your family act that way. Yeah, it's coming up. Good. So Nuru, focus on that while we're doing this, okay? Okay, so Anna, you work on what it is, what health issues you feel like you have. And Tiffany, you also focus on the money issues and what blocks you have. So think about those. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be running the energy um, through your core life, past life, genetics, and through the collective consciousness. Because a lot of times we can work on things for years and we're still stuck in the collective consciousness of it. And it's still running our lives and we're not even aware of it. So um, clearing this out of the collective consciousness will help you do all of that. So what I would like you to do now, everybody, is focus on what it is that's really bugging you, okay? Whatever emotions are there. Okay, so think about when I'm sick, it's hard to go make money and focus on being let down by money. If that makes any sense to you. Now, 
Nuri, your family thinks you make bad decisions. So think about why you think they think you make bad decisions. Because I know you and you're amazing. So for some reason you're creating this mirror to you. So why is it you think you're doing that? Yeah, I think so, Nero. No, um, the what other people are typing, I think, are just for me on a webinar. Okay, so think about that. Why can't you hang on to money? It'll be taken from you. Think about that. No, I don't think it was a wrong decision, Nuru. I think you made the right decision. But you need to disconnect from what other people think. And by the way, I'm very proud of you. Yeah, focus on that. Weight has so many different levels to it. So just start focusing on whatever that level that comes up for you. So as I'm speaking and reading what is, is coming in, I'm running the energy. So just keep whatever you're focusing on if you don't have questions, just keep focusing on whatever it is you're wishing to clear right now. Okay, so think about shame, what other people think. The more I make, the more I spend. Think about that. Think you're a nobody, think about that. I'm feeling a lot of anger. We're just feeling a lot of anger. Focus on that. Yes, that's how you ask questions, Margaret. Or you put up your flag. If you have a microphone, I can take your call and ask you online or um, just type it in here. Okay, Tom, think of fear of God. Edward, you know, everything's a mirror. So if your spouse wants a separation or a divorce, you got to look at that and why. Um, because we are co-creators. Um, you know, the sacred activations training can help you get a lot deeper into those emotions and clear that. I'm not saying it's able, it will shift what's going on. It might. It might totally shift it because, again, everything's a mirror. Or it might see you see the higher purpose of that so you can move forward. Again, you guys, if you're not interested in, in becoming a practitioner to work on people, it's okay. Just even to do the training so you can really work on yourself and help yourself shift this stuff. Okay, so good night. Think about not being able to forgive people. Okay, so Suzanne, think about that. Not being a good enough. Janet, focus on the pain in your body. Um, do you put your focus in your first chakra? Nuru, focus on um, seeing the future. And you guys, the more you can focus on one issue, the faster it will shift. 
So keep your thoughts on one issue until you can't focus on it anymore. Then bring in another one. So why aren't you able to shift, Deborah? What what's the reason for that? Focus on that. Because this is in between you and God. So you need to focus on why you're not allowing yourself to shift. And hopefully you have the book and you're able to track your results. There is a fruit of life activation, which um, is for the chakras. Keep allowing that energy. We're now going to bring this energy in and through your past lives. Deborah or D, just think about everything you typed in here, honey. Keep allowing this energy to shift. Okay, we're going to bring this energy up and through your genetics.
Okay, so focus on those, Tiffany. And do the demon free world on the on the website. It's free. And you're most likely not from here. <sighs> Lee, organ rejuvenation is good. Anger, sadness, fear, guilt. That's also a good one. Yeah, Margaret, you're absolutely a potential sacred activations practitioner. Be happy to have you in class. Let's keep focus on Nana D. Could you disconnect from the collective consciousness of that? You're welcome, Lee. Okay, we're still in your genetics. This is clearing us on upline and downline, meaning future and past generations. Edward, it will be opening um, if you're becoming a practitioner. That'll all open way up. I'd also do the Lord Metatron and the Aberry Stonehenge again. There's one for your pineal, your pituitary, and your godhead activation. I wouldn't do that one unless you've done at least 12 activations, though. We got an email from a guy who slept for a week and a half after that activation. It's very advanced. Okay, we're bringing this energy up and through the collective consciousness now, disconnecting you from all of those energies of the collective consciousness. Nuru, you have all the activations. Family constellations, inner child reconnection. Um, I would definitely do those again. Yeah, fear of authority for your court case. Yes, Dee, that's true, but you're still also in the 3D world. You still have a body. So it's important to master both. I'm working on mastering the body level myself now, finally. And I've been working on it for six months, and it's still a process because I've always been so out of my body. You know, I'm really learning to connect with my body. You're welcome, Marianne. Thank you for joining in, honey. Okay, we're going through the collective consciousness and disconnecting you from the collective consciousness belief systems of whatever it is you're working on. Nuru would also do soulmate and sacred sexuality. And damsel in distress. Thank you, Dee. Jurda, thank you. Okay, now we're going to just bring in that unconditional love. Just bring in that unconditional love. Isn't it funny how I say that? Connecting the highest source, seventh plane energy, and we're filling every single cell of your body with this unconditional love. And we're sending it out through the universe. We're sending it through your past lives, through your genetics, sending that everywhere. And I want you to imagine, because you need to connect with your body, imagine that this energy is coming in through every single cell of your body. And you can imagine that this energy is going into Mother Earth. 
and that you can also connect in this Mother Earth energy. Okay, bring this energy all the way back up to the top of your head. This unconditional love as it goes through the whole universe, goes through every single cell of your body, through all aspects of you. Okay, bring this energy all the way back up to the top of your head. Yes, Edward. The training. I've got a training on November 1st with the Sacred Activation Practitioner. You learn to do 26 activations um, for yourselves, and you can work on one other person at a time. And, and the Master's training, you learn to work on groups. But trust me, um, I haven't done this right before. And when I was first learning, I knocked myself sideways. So it's you start with one-on-ones first. Um, you can use this energy for yourself and for others. Um, the training is live this weekend. Um, you also get a replay. And a lot of people already have um, like the basic activations. So we've opened it up where you get 17 activations. You can choose which 17 you want when you sign up for training. And then you also get 25% off all other webinars or um, activations being a practitioner and as a master practitioner um, you get 25 activations for free your choice and then you can work on groups and then you get 50 percent off all activations um, on the website um, following weekend after this weekend is the master's acoustic records training and this training is really deep the first acoustic records training um, I've heard from some of my master practitioners that they just absolutely loved it, and it's been like one of the funnest trainings they've ever been through. Um, and that was already done, so if you decide to sign up for the three, the Acoustic Records, the Sacred Activation Practitioner, and then the Master's Sacred um, Acoustic Records, I'm running a special, you save $400 on it. So it's like $1,240 for all three trainings. And the Acoustic Records training also gives you a whole new level of understanding how to work with the masters and how to work with the energies how to do psychic surgeries and all kinds of stuff for you um, um i wasn't doing any privates until next week if you would like you could ask um support tell me you talked to me today and maybe i could do you on friday i just got back from europe you guys i've been gone for almost six months and I've hit the road running already and I've got so much going on so privates are supposed to be coming up next week um, um, Parsha we could talk about the sacred activations practitioner training I could schedule time through that um, it'll just take a few minutes we offer payments Um, if you can't handle the payments that are on the website, talk to um, support team. We can set something up for you. Same thing, Tiffany. Okay, so contact the support team if you guys want to be in training, and we'll set up special payments for you if you can't afford the ones that are on there. Yeah, Nuru, that includes these next two weekends. What did you think? Because you started with the uh, Cossack Records training. And you get the sacred activations training this weekend. Did you enjoy that last class? Good, you loved it. Awesome. Um, my private sessions are 150, and I'm not doing that many because I'm so busy. I've got practitioners on my website that are really super good, and a lot of them are less price than I am 
Um, Nuru, we start at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Like right now, it's 1.47 Eastern Time. So 10 a.m. Eastern Time um, for the training um, Saturday and Sunday. And we run till about 4 o'clock. And the training's one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, it's not like this screen. We actually have faces up all over. We'd have 12 people on the screen at once. And everybody gets to ask questions. And then you are signed up with somebody to work with. And you get to work with different people. You get like six different people you work with over the weekend. And if you're not one that wants to be part of that, then um, you don't have to be. But if you want to work with other people, you need a Skype account. Um, to 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 um, work with other people or live in the United States with a phone number. Um, D on my private session page, and then you'll just email support, and they'll get you signed up. Um, Nuru email support. I have a new support um, team in place. They've started taking over. They're getting all this together, and um, in the future, when you sign up, everything will be automatic. Okay, any, anybody else have any questions? I want to thank everybody for joining me today. Um, we'll be getting an email out um, soon for next Wednesday's what, um, what we're going to be offering. And it will be on a new system. We'll be doing it on um, GoToWebinar because this only accommodates 200 people, and we're getting over that that are signing up for these. So much love to everybody. Have an amazing week. Thank you so much for joining me. And anybody that has questions about the training that we weren't able to cover today, please send an email and we'll get those um, answered for you, okay? Yeah, Janet, I can see. Your um, Have I connected? Yes. You're welcome.